All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Git tutorial. Today we're going to talk about branching a bit more. We're going to actually delete our local branch and then we're going to pull a branch off the remote down and then we're going to delete it off the remote and delete it locally. So let's get our branch. In case you're wondering how I skip, if you press tab, it brings up all the options or all the possibilities you can type in. Anyway, we deleted our branch. Oh no, our branch is gone. It's a good thing we have it on the remote. If we take a look at our remote, our branch is still here. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we may have deleted it locally, but we can still get it. We're going to type in git pull. origin I think that's it anyway nope that's not the right command don't do that git pull origin pulls the branches together don't do it I've mixed up my wording it's git fetch <laughs> git fetch origin home changes to home changes so that essentially we're going to say fetch the remote home changes branch and put it into our home changes branch so if we just say git branch we have two branches home home pages and master so we deleted our local branch and now we've got it so now we're going to delete the remote branch so to delete the remote branch you type in git uh, push origin colon and then the remote name so we've deleted our remote branch but if we type in git branch we still have our branch and then if we type in git branch net or we have our master branch. So that's our origin remote. That's our, our, our remote with the name of origin on, and our master branch is there. So essentially we're just going to delete our local branch. Gone. So that branch is gone forever. Poof. And that's quite it. That's how you work with branches remotely. It's very easy. Um, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Next time we're going to take a look at the git ignore file <gasps> the git ignore is an amazing file we'll take a look at that in a while but anyway see you next time